You Matt, can you, you please give the, me a second? You don't care about the homeless? I love the homeless, Matt. <laughs> Especially the POC homeless. Really? And the LGBT Q plus homeless. There's a lot of LGBT homeless. Well, a lot of forced LGBT. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of LGBT R homeless, dude. Wait, what? Yeah, the homeless will force sex on each other. That's true. I heard the homeless people do get like rape vague, a lot. They're like rabid dogs. Yeah, I mean, shit, man. Like Star Wars. Do they really? Homeless people rape the shit out of each other. Oh, I thought you meant like the gay homeless people will rape each other more. Well, I mean... You can't speak to that. I can't speak to the homosexual community, Matt, please. <laughs> so I was taking the R and... The gay homeless, dude. I thought about that. Th- I was literally thinking about that the other day. The gay homeless? Being a gay homeless person. Like, I was I was driving my car and there was this, uh... There was a gay black dude in like a tube top <laughs> who also had... <laughs> no, dude, it was, like, it was the most fucked up. It was like... It just... It all hit me at once. I'm driving... There was a guy with like muscular dystrophy, like full on, like, cr- like crutching around. You sure he wasn't just dancing? No, this guy was not dancing. It was dude. a black dude. You sure he, he wasn't? This was a guy with like full on, like you know, like when someone's so crippled, their legs are like their feet are almost like pointing out to the, like the sides, like almost. Yeah. He was like so crippled that he had like a full. He was doing on, the like, stanky leg. Like, <laughs> two, with both he legs. Had two, stanky two stanky legs. <laughs> he had two <laughs> stanky legs. So he looked like Jimmy Vollmer. <laughs> <laughs> this guy this guy had two stanky legs was wearing a tube top and I was just like almost like dude why do you have to be gay too man that must be so hard <laughs> he's literally crippled and gay and I was like dude that's like I was literally in my car at a red light and it turned green I just like for the next four minutes was just trying to imagine that guy's life just he was like, crippled and gay yeah that's one of those it's so like which just... came first the chicken or the egg wait you thought he became gay because he was crippled <laughs> sometimes <laughs> You think he became crippled because he was gay? Think somebody, <laughs> think somebody crippled him? No, this looked like some like, real deal. Two top this looked like real deal genetic cripplage. Yeah, this wasn't no like, you know, double leg punch. I don't know what the fuck would happen to him, but he had like two stanky legs. <laughs> It's so up. sad. It was sad, but he was actually moving fast as fuck. So <laughs> he is fast. somewhere to be. He was, so even fucking, he was he was walking like a bulldog, dude, across Thirty Eighth Street. <laughs> and I remember just being like, so this guy, not even like, it's one thing to be crippled and try to get pussy, but it's like to be crippled <laughs> and like try to suck a dude's dick. It's like I gotta be the, honest, it's probably head, help. It probably exactly. is easier. Yes. Then I went down that rabbit hole, being like. God, does this guy do sexual favors for money? And if so, to who? And it was just like, I just, it just, it ruined me. nice day. though, flopping that guy around, those little legs flopping around like a marionette. Imagine being that guy's pimp. That'd be nice. I'd be like, listen, dude, I got a sweet <laughs> treat for you. He's around the corner. Oh, no. <laughs> what do you think of this stanky leg? Because I got two of them. He tries to run away from you and just kind of like, come here, like... come here, dude. Come here. So the tube top. He had a fucking, like, pink tube top on. He was ripped. He was ripped what? as fuck, dude. Absolutely ripped. At first, I thought it was a G-Unit wife beater. I was like, this guy? And then it was, like, halter top up to his stomach. Didn't see shoulder straps. And I was like, this guy's got a fucking tube top. And he's ripped. And he's, I mean, obviously, his arms are ripped because he's got the fucking, you know, he's got the fucking extenders, dude. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, dude, that, that hit me yesterday. I promised myself I wouldn't talk about it. but Why? <laughs> I don't know. I just, like, I was just great. Like, well, it, like I saw it, it was just like, man, that's fucked up. And then again, I started thinking about him selling his body, and I was like, "What do you think a good day for him is? Like just getting shit faced? What type of music do you think he likes?" <laughs> I think he's a little monster. You think he's a Gaga fan? Yeah, I think he's a fan of Gaga. He should. Jesus Christ, that's that's a rough life. I mean, you got this guy exactly just. I couldn't, I couldn't, and then, like, the at, like every now and again, when you finally lock down, like, a fucking trick, you're back in your weird, like, apartment, some guy butt fucks you for 50 bucks, and then you just cross across. 50 bucks, dude. I mean, you know, you're not, at, he's not asking for, like, you can, 400. Get, you can get, like, six tube tops off that. That's true, you can hit the fashion bug hard. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're, you, now, Matt, I live in New York. I live in New York. All right, I live in New York. Yeah. And you think, see, this is what it's like. Like, I mean, people are like, Shane, why don't you come home more often? It's like, <laughs> God. I mean, yeah. I got to come home and deal with my former friend sitting around because we're not friends anymore after no, this. It's over, dude. I would never, ever sit there and laugh and say that a homosexual black man yeah. with 
a physical disability <laughs> and is most likely a sex worker. I would never sit there. A double stank. You love sex work. You fun stand of with sex workers. Life. I stand with whores and sex workers. Yes. And you sat there and said he has stanky legs. You're making fun of a gay black dude in a tube top with horrible disease, probably. Yeah. Stanky legs. And you're making fun of his stanky legs. And you think this is the patriarchy. This is the white cis patriarchy. (laughs) However, I can't stop laughing about the the term double stanky legs. (laughs) Double stanky legs. You think that's what the doctor said to him? He's like, I'm sorry, your son has. You might want to sit down for this, man. Your son has double stanky legs. And she's like, oh, Lord, not double stanky legs. (laughs) And according to this chart, he's gay. Now here's a tube top. Keep this on <laughs> for the next 60 years. <laughs> yeah, this dude was at least 50. Yeah. I don't know why I knew he was old. Did you say he was old? No, I, I knew mean, he was old. He was. He was He was like... He had polio. He's old. Yeah. It's like, uh, you know, a lot of, and a lot of times black dudes like look young you yeah. know, for a long time. But like, you know, when they start, you can tell like they start getting like the gray hairs uh-huh. and like they're, they're still ripped, but like they get a little bit like loose skin. Yeah. He was rocking that. So yeah, Damn. you absolutely pictured him right. So that's what... That's and that's white privilege. What you can tell because looking at a double stanky leg from your shitty Honda no, Civic saying. and just being like, don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh. <laughs> no, like I mean, that was that's that's what would that's what FDR would have been if he was black. A double stanky leg. <laughs> he had double stanky leg, and he rose to president. This poor guy. That was back when you could ride horses, so you could like hide your stanky legs a little better. Just be like, like get down off the, your horse, be like, man, I'm cool. <laughs> no, dude. Like, what do you have stanky legs? I do not have stanky <laughs> legs, sir. <laughs> Yeah, that's... Now, excuse me. I must kill some Indians. That's a fucking good way to avoid getting detected, though. Staying on just a horse. Just being like, I'm not getting off my fucking horse. And yeah. everyone was probably like, damn, that guy's a badass. <laughs> Turns out he's just hiding his stankies. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think that guy's name was, that guy you saw at the tube top? I, I couldn't even venture to guess. What would you guess? If you had to guess... Now, if you were the gay black dudes with, pimp? with stanky legs and you were his pimp, what would you call him? Chocolate You're... covered pretzel. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. You would name him chocolate covered pretzels because his legs are all twisted up. <laughs> oh my god, Matt! I live, uh, in, dude. I live in New York. Welcome to Shane Singer Podcast. Dude. No, dude. Oh, I live Shane in. Give us his thoughts. <laughs> I live in New York, and I am not going to oh, stand man, for that's this. That's fucked up. But that was, I and mean, that was the first. You heard it first, dude. That was right off the dome, bro. That wasn't planned. Yeah, chocolate covered pretzel. Chocolate covered pretzel, dude. No, where it stems from. I called my girlfriend a chocolate chip the other day. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where it was still fresh in my mind. So you called your African American girlfriend a chocolate chip? No, I called her a morsel. I was like, she just got her hair done. I've heard you tossing morsel around. Yeah, how'd you look? I'm like, man, I was like, you're a little morsel. You look like a snack, dude. I was like, exactly. You look like a fucking morsel. I was morsel. like, you're a little morsel. She goes, a morsel? What do you mean? I was like, you know, like a little chocolate chip. And she's like, she just called me a chocolate chip. And I was like, well, but she did tell me that some old black guy one time called her a chocolate drop. And I'm like, hey, we use pretty much saying what I'm saying. She's a little chocolate chip, dude. She's a little fun. Yeah, you're like, they can say it. Why can't I? I just, I was explaining, I was like, you look like a little morsel. And like, a morsel is a chocolate chip. I, I didn't even put the whole race. Cho- I don't, I don't, you know. I'm never like, did you ever watch like white guys fuck black chicks in pornos? And they're like, yeah, you're black ass. Yeah, it's like. Yeah. I don't really get into that side of things. I see the white chick get fucked by a black dude a lot. Yeah. And she's, I've seen a couple chicks that are pretty quick to throw around the N-word. In the pornos? Yes. Really? And then I come. <laughs> you hear it, you're like, oh. Right when, right when they're like, the N-word. I'm like, oh, excuse me? You're not <laughs> supposed to say that? <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah, that I move, now that I moved to New York, that's the only type of porn I watch. What? Fucking. Interracial. Where white ladies say the N-word? Yeah, and then I correct them. Like, uh, excuse me? Uh. Yeah. I watch racism videos. And if somebody racism says something porn. racist, I'm like, excuse me? That's got to be, I don't know. I think that porn, I think that's more of a black fetish. Like white chicks saying the N-word to you and like you're fucking them. I, I mean, I, I mean I, I'm not knocking your freak. I guess you can get into it too. I, I'll watch anything, dude. Yeah. You throw it on, I'll watch it. Did you, when you watched it, did you like rewind the N-word part and watch it again? Or no. did you just flow through? I chopped and screwed it, though. Did you chop and screw it? I was like, hell yeah, dude. Fuck my pussy. I can't believe you said the N-word on the last episode. Oh, don't you even dare. Hulk Hogan, we're coming for you, chocolate chip. <laughs> <laughs> you said that, dude. No, I didn't. 
So you made so what else did you do while I was gone other than make fun of a black guy with muscular I didn't make fun dystrophy? Of him. I felt sad for him. I was driving my car and I said, "Damn!" And then in, until you and you're saying he was scooting, he was moving along. He was fucking. I told Where you. Where do you think he was headed? Or do you think he was escaping? No, he, I mean he was headed to the direct. The only thing in it's his pride, direction, it's Pride Week. TD Bank. It's Gay Month too. It's Gay Month, and you're sitting here making it's jokes like this. And you said F A G G O T earlier. No, IT. I the way you said it was didn't. I. No, and I you didn't. promised you weren't going to do that anymore. Dude, forget the hell I'm out of here. I'm New York, Matt, and I'm not going to deal with this shit. <laughs> I am done with the bullshit. Well, you know what's funny? I was talking to uh, the Spud Man. Did we? Yeah, we talked about fucking Ruben on this one. And uh, what the fuck? Was, he was saying something about like how it was, in my head I was, he was like, well, you know. He was like, if he's like, there's nothing wrong with being gay, but if everyone was gay, it would be disastrous for the world, because no one would reproduce and you know whatever. Or I guess you could do the artificial insemination and shit. But I just wonder what if if literally, if there was like, everyone in the world became gay, it's like, I don't know what the fuck would happen. I'd to, fucking to bays. suck your dick. I don't. I don't worry about that. I'm just saying. I mean, I totally let you suck my dick. I'm just saying, what would happen to the bays, dude? If it was the full gay takeover, because in my head, I'm thinking that it's almost like a global thing. Like, we're getting overpopulated. And I think mm, we might think, we might go think, into gay ice ages every now and again. I'd really have to think about it. I'd be like, yeah. If I had 2500 bucks, I might. But if someone was like, yo, Finnegan the dog is going to get shot in the head or Donald J. Oh, I would definitely keep like, my dogs alive. Finnegan's the man. Yeah. Finnegan hates crates. He doesn't like them. Finnegan hates cages. You know who loves cages? Who? Donald J. He loves putting those little kids in cages. Did you cages. see the picture where they got busted for uh faking? Yeah. No, I didn't. Did you there's a picture and it was like a little it was a little fucking kid with like red sneakers and then they zoom out and there's just like kids standing and like there's a cage setting and <laughs> unless it's Photoshop. That's the thing too, you know they can make fucking fake videos now. So What do you think of that? You think you think CNN? I'm out going there. back to the basics, dude. I've been saying this forever. I'm go. I'm just immediate experience, dude. If you want to hit me with a fucking thing you read, or some video you saw, I'm just like. I got a feeling. If I don't you, see something in real life, it I don't doesn't exist. In it. I got a feeling you and chocolate covered pretzel are on the same wavelength in that what, sense. Immediate experience. Just immediate. Whatever's ten feet in front of you, you guys are both like goldfish. Just, <laughs> yeah, that's. Just I mean, like, that's how you have to be. Whatever's going on, I'm I'm with it. Exactly. If I haven't seen it, it's not real. I guarantee. If you well, walk it's, up, it's the ancient art. If you're like, yo. Chocolate covered pretzel or dinosaurs real? Be like, I ain't never heard of no dinosaurs. <laughs> I wasn't around for them. They ain't no, real. He was in such a rush. He would just smack me with one of his sabers, dude. With his <laughs> sabers. Damn, they they were swords. <laughs> no, Do you think he has blades in them? I mean, he has to. So he, he probably, had the full on. When fucking, the time like, comes, he probably like if he smashes them down hard enough on the floor, knives pop shatters. out. He can just probably oh. absolutely spin around and do it. Oh my god! What do you god. think happens to the stanky legs? They just probably just. Go up, they probably like knee up into wheels. And like, you know what I mean? Like a transformer, how it like folds up. Yeah. Little wheels, dude, or little maybe some like, uh, <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe some wheelies or something. I don't know. Yeah, this but makes he perfect just, sense. He leans back on his wheelies dude, and takes off. Yeah, oh, do you think he's well? Didn't you say his feet were in different directions? Yeah, but I mean, I'm sure you could get custom made wheelies. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's just a wheelchair at this point. I think he should be in a wheelchair. <laughs> not not as ripped as he is, man. True. If he that's probably what happened. He might every he night. He, he might bust ripped. out the chair on like a Sunday. Yeah, you know but if mean? he was in the chair, he's so ripped that, that it probably he got so much speed it was probably started to lift off the ground. You know what I mean? <laughs> he's probably one of the he first might wheel, he might start flying a little. <laughs> he might hover. <laughs> Well, that's also too. He's like he's doing those like the sticks, so he's working his pecs a lot. But if he got in the wheelchair, that that's all back, ripped, dude. His, dude. Dude, he was fucking. He was. He would rip your dick off. I mean, I would love to put you up to a challenge to like try to take a hand job from that guy. It's probably blinding speed. It probably feels so good. I know. He just probably lays the stinky legs on a fucking yeah, pillow in front of him and just sits down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's probably such a good hand job. I mean, his hand jobs have been life. He's been living and dying by. He's him. fucking getting tube tops and crutches. So he's probably, dude. He probably, if you close your eyes, stay, S old SL, dude. It's probably just like, it's probably so powerful. I th- see. This is. I live in New York now, and making fun of sex workers like this. I'm, not making I'm fun so of, glad to I'm live. I'm talking up no, his hand Matt, job game, Matt. What you th- you think it's a fucking joke, dude? What the life of a sex worker? Yeah. No, I don't. I stand with sex workers. You lay with sex workers. <laughs> <laughs> 
that's pretty funny. Yeah. What up? What up? That's a funny cause because I remember a lot of people start a lot of like hardcore feminists started going in like I stand with sex workers and if you're a guy like yeah I, I fuck whores they're like ew yeah, gross. Yeah, yeah it's like yeah it's like I pay sex workers lady yeah I feed their intravenous drug addiction habits Matt <laughs> you can't just assume all sex workers have drug problems yeah about seventy percent probably probably eh, eighty five yes yeah nah. nah it's probably not too many totally sober sex workers. I, yeah, I, have, I mean, you get occasional, you get the webcam girls now. The girls, go, the girls going rogue in their twenties, being like, oh, "That's a sex worker." Yeah, do webcam, you think they man. they don't they don't count? No, I'm talking pure on fucking. I'm talking about chocolate, like chocolate covered pretzels. Yeah, man, I'm talking about like talking going real to a hotel on the room. Street. Yeah, I'm talking about meeting Chris Hardwick in a hotel room. Him going up saying and you're not allowed like, to leave. Yeah, and I fuck you whenever I, I want. I make the rules. What's up, bro? Chilling, bro. What's happening? Chilling, sorry, about dude. The I had a. I had to show you this. There's a um, there was a, a poem that sparked controversy on online. A poem. It's a poem. It was it was very ableist. I would say poem. Poem. Yes, I, I, I say, say poem. poem. No, poem. I say poem. Dude, so this guy tried to write a poem about being homeless. Yeah. You know, like being like I guess when I'm going what I think he was going for is like write a poem through the eyes of a like a black homeless dude or a black homeless anyone. Or someone who would, you'll see. But he tried, and like I was reading, people were like, "Dude, you did your poems fine. Don't let people police your language." You're like they're saying, like it's ableist and like whatever. I don't even what know what the thing was. But as you can imagine, as a guy trying to write, I think it's like a you know, it's like a, you imagine a poet. It's just his Twitter, like I'm so sorry, I'm sincerely. Blah, blah. He thought he hit some. He was like, "Is he this a white dude writing as a white guy?" Dude? Yes. He must. He, I think he hit the vape pen and was like, "Oh my god, I have the best idea, dude!" So I'm like, "These motherfuckers are bothering poets. How bad can this poem be?" And it's not that it's really offensive, but it, it's funny. I'm gonna read it to you, and All I right. think in the voice he was going for. So it's titled. Uh, what the fuck's this titled? How to? If you got HIV, say AIDS. If you a girl, say you pregnant. Nobody gonna lower themselves to listen for the kick. People passing fast, splay your legs, cock and knee, funny. It's the littlest shames they're likely to comprehend. Don't say homeless, they know you is. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. What they don't know is what opens a wallet, what stops them from counting when they drop. If you're young, say younger. Old, say older. If you're crippled, don't flaunt it. Let them think they're good enough Christians to notice. Don't say you pray, say you sin. It's about who they believe they is. You hardly even there. I was like, oh. what a fucking dork. <laughs> that was so Good funny. Lord. His first draft, dude, must have been the best. Like, I'm waiting on the bus. She <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> oh, it's too black. I mean, homeless, black homeless guys are soulful. It's like, nah, dude, that guy's nuts. <laughs> that guy's crazy. Yeah. They shut down. They had a lot of mental institutions around Philly. At one point, they just shut them down. So like, they just dumped a ton of people let on the street. Let the out. They let them out. They they, let the, let they, out. they fucking uh, let the extras out from the Thriller video, dude. They fucking came out. And they just walk around all day like, Dan, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Give me money, you ugly fat bitch. <laughs> Dan, Dan. <laughs> I don't, I, you fucking slut. Dude, the one time the um, there was some guy, some crazy homeless lady walking down the street. And he she, she was like coming up to us. And my friend literally pointed to like, another friend we know. It was like, oh, he did it. And she was like, and like walked over to this other dude. It was so fucking funny. Yeah, that was... cracked me up. This guy's name is Anders Carlson Wee. Anders. Little Anders, fucking, yeah. Motherfucking Durs. Durs uh, submitted his poem to The Nation, which is apparently like an esteemed poetry journal. And uh, he, he submitted, I'm waiting on the motherfucking bus. <laughs> they know you is. Dude, they know like, you is. Damn, man. This guy fucking, this guy got dunked on, dude. He put up a piece of art and it just got like, I wonder what that's like. <laughs> exactly. <yeah. laughs> I wonder what that's like. You try to make some art and a bunch of pussies shit all over. Well, it's funny because I didn't read it and I was already defending it. I was like, come on, dude. Yeah. yeah. He's fine. Dude. You know what? And I, I'm not like, I didn't read it. I was like, how could he? I read it and I was like, God, that was really bad. That was a bad attempt. A lot of times it is really bad. I watched that fucking, uh, remember that white chick said the N-word with Kendrick Lamar? Kendrick Lamar brought on a chick stage. on stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She sang his song, mm -hmm. which had the N-word in it. Mm-hmm. And then she was like, what, am I not cool enough? Is how it was written made it seem like she was saying, what, am I not cool enough to say the N-word? Yeah, yeah. She was just on stage singing the song, and he was like, hold up, stop, yeah. stop, because she said it. Yeah. 
And then he, and then when he said stop, she was like, "What am I not cool enough?" She didn't realize to rap is what yeah. she meant. And then she was like, "Oh my god, I'm so sorry." Like I didn't like. She's like, "Did I say that?" Why did he bring her up stage on stage to rap he did along? That. He did that. I mean, that was. Do you th- I mean, he wasn't trying to get her. He wasn't trying to snag her. He on, was not trying to. Wasn't snag the her. classic N word rap trap? He was not trying to <laughs> trap it because afterwards he was like, "Give it up for." Her. Like he was still. Like, oh really? He was like, "Don't." Yeah. Dude, I'll say I've been to and a they rap. Made it a big deal. I've been to a rap concert before. I mean, it's, just, it's funny. It is. It's fucking funny as shit to see that lady say the N word and be like, "Oh, she's like, did I say it?" Oh, I didn't see the footage. I yeah. heard about that. It's just some fat chick. Well, I I always I went to one rap concert and from what I saw, pretty much a safe space for fat white chicks to say the N word, dude. Like I saw it. Now you say <laughs> that, I'm like, I saw so many fat white chicks, dude. Well, dude. yeah, if you rap along with it. Yeah. And Plus, I, you were at a Drake concert. I Snapchatted them, dude. I had one, I Snapchatted a lady saying the N-word Yeah, and a rap song. Well, a Drake, a Drake concert is definitely... Ch- like, you can see Drake say the N-word and be like, well, he's saying it. Yeah. I'm pretty close. Dude, I'm telling you, that was the weirdest fucking thing. I, I, so I started... I have two audiobooks right now going simultaneously. Which one? It's a mind bender. Between the World and Me by Ton A.C. Coates, which he's like, he's like the absolute like quintessential... Due to like whatever you want to call it, the extreme left, like makes cases of reparations. Pretty much this whole book is about why white people, you know, why it's super hard to be black because white people kind of like ruined life for black people and it always will be hard as fuck. Yeah. Then I'm, I had this other one of this guy who was like enticed by like rap and like growing up in like the 90s and he kind of walked away from it. So I'm listening to them at the same time trying to Dr. Strange the solution, dude. It's like, what's the solution? I have no fucking clue. It's dude. reparations. Yes, I'm I'm full time DC Coates, dude. Nice. His thing is funny, man. It's like one of his. It's weird because I listen to his. I listen to both memoirs, and I and it's like, I'll I'll sit there and listen to the whole entire thing. But he'll hit me with a fuck. He's black me, Tony C. Coates. He'll hit me with a theory that I'm like, where the Good fuck theory. are you pulling this oh, out? Really? I disagree with it, but I'm like, damn, dude, nice fucking. Like he was the one thing was pretty funny. This was in another thing he wrote, but he was talking about how like. White politicians, like whiteness, was like in the amulet that they all kind of like quietly walked around with. And he said Donald Trump smacked it out and sent like the like the cosmic energy, the white energy, out into the air. And I'm like, it's a sick fucking analogy, bro. It's hilarious, but it's like, dude, you're fucking losing. So wait, your mind. is he pro Trump? No, 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 no. He's very much against Trump. Okay. He was saying that like he there's like whiteness has been they were like all a, trying to hide it. Whiteness has been like a secret little talisman that like they've been hiding around. Trump he's like Trump broke it open. He's like the fan the fan gasmic matter or whatever the fuck he called it out into the air and it's like that kind of makes sense. Yeah, it's pretty funny. That it's, it makes it was sense. Pretty, I read I was like damn that's pretty funny. And then all the other politicians are like he's an animal. Yeah. We need our fucking <laughs> Yeah, like give it back. We need it back. <laughs> we need to go back. But